There's a llama right there, so I'm living my dream right now. Okay. This is like heaven. Why don't we just do this? Did you yeah. see her reaction? She was like, oh. Jersey's speechless. You should zoom in on her mouth. She's like. Okay. Hello, my fellow sniffers, flighters, and newbies. We are somewhere very special. We are at Caesar Milan's. Let's go. So this is Rio. Look, see. Hi, Rio. She, she's used to uh, lick her. You know, she's That's used to uh, play with her. They play a lot. This one starts this chasing good. her. Oh my God, that's yeah. so cute. Hi. I love the name Rio. What got you into birds? She needed a, a place um, after the Malibu fires. Mm -hmm. So it was just going to be a temporary thing, like fostering, you know. And we have many different species here. Um, but her home uh, burned down completely, their human's home. Mm. I said, well, we don't have a place to keep it. And she had a lot of tumors. So it was a little bit of a negligent situation. She had tumors? Uh, yeah, like all over, see? All over. And then she had no, no, no feathers. But when I met her the first time, she came into my arm, into my hand. I never had one like this in my life. Then she came very straight. She smells so good. She likes it. You like the smell of them? Yeah, they smell weird. So it smells weird. 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 Well, yeah, I mean, compared to a dog. I love how he's holding himself sideways. It looks perfect with the with the leather, leather jacket and the J. She's a she's <laughs> yeah, a girl. it's very awesome, right? When when we get home, she gets out of the car. You open the door and she goes hello, and she goes to her perch. This is so beautiful. This is a beautiful place. This is Thank gorgeous. You. I love this place. This is this is like something that I always wanted, like to have a place where you can have everybody hanging out. Yeah, the llamas come. The, the llamas come. <laughs> yeah. We have and a he's temple got, over he's there. got ostriches. I saw, yeah. I saw. Those are emus. emus. Oh, and, and, and actually, Peter is. Sorry. Is, uh, yeah, that's alright. <laughs> and we have chickens, obviously. We What's have the dogs. The emus. Uh, 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 size number one. They're huge, bigger. You know, the feathers are black. Do you mind me asking where you get it's your hair ready. done? It's Coachella. Really? Coachella ready. I'd like to get the name of your person. Yeah. He used to be are like all dogs I've wanted before. It was my dream dog until like this one. my friends got this one. yeah this one too. <laughs> <laughs> she likes the puffiness of the hair. I love it. Yeah. It's so cute. This so and, and then soft. and then the touch. You know, a lot of people like really really fast and really, really. So if you keep if you touch and you keep him in that state and then you you prolong that frame of mind. So it's like somebody gave me your massage. Yeah. 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 Somebody giving you a hug or cuddling. But that energy that happens at that moment is best to begin to share, especially when you first touch, means that. But if you relate to that, you see it? Yeah. So most people like to begin too excited and too rough. That's going to trigger the dog to be excited and rough with you. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've done that with my cat. It's, it's just my way of playing with her. I, and I enjoy it and she enjoys it. Yeah. It's fun. But I tell him all the time. She I'm doesn't like, like keep <laughs> the cat calm. But but do calm. No, she has her moments if she's calm. Do calm, excited, calm. So let's pretend like you have a Rottweiler, right? So if you do that wrestling thing, then you will keep that Rottweiler in that frame of mind. Right. So if somebody wants to just lightly play with them and they don't know how to play like you and stay confident mm -hmm. like you, that, that dog can bite that human. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So so or if that or if a kid wants to play with a dog and they see a grown up playing that way, they have no idea when to block the brain before the brain goes into That's like uh hair. My sister's dog so both our dogs are rescues and this dog would kill people and you wouldn't think it's like a little play. poodle but before even knowing how to play we were like terrified and then she kennel trained him. They had him on meds. She got him off the med, she kennel trained him, and he became like a dog that everybody loves and everyone can, like a complete teddy bear. But this dog, you wouldn't have wanted to touch the bed with a 10 foot pole if he was on it. He got returned like three or four times. He got back. Yeah, he got returned. They didn't trust him. Yeah, no one, people had him for eight months and always took him back to the place that the she owner, worked. The owner, yeah, yeah. they didn't yeah. trust So he was more fearful than anything else. Can I please? No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> 
right. So here's the weird thing about her. She. You're her type, but she also. She plays hard to get. She plays hard to get. Not usually with guys like you, but also since you, she likes to be the only one. Oh, so since you have a bird on your shoulder, taken. she's like, oh, well, I'm not going to get his like full attention. But that's your type, baby. There's a llama right there, so I'm living my dream right now. Okay. This is like heaven. Why don't we just do this? First of all, I Luca's here, so I mean. I, I swear, I saw Luca I walking around, and I'm like, that's so cool. Like, see, they got her already walking around. Like, huh? So they know to be calm and give distance. So that will that will make any uh, prey, because this is a prey, right? To feel comfortable coming in. If they behave excited too soon, then that makes them go into a flight state. Mm -hmm. See, this is more going into a surrender state. Jersey's speechless. You should zoom in on her mouth. She's like. Do we have anything to offer? Carrots? Carrots? Yeah. So see, that's why it's very important for you to let them come to you versus you go to them. Most dog people, they go to the dog. Ah. Or they do this. See? So this is visual. So if you approach a dog like this, you're disrespecting the nose. The dog can smell you from here to there. No problem. They can smell a female and eat a mile away. So she's not going to jump right here. This is smell. It's a, you want to allow this from any species to feel free to approach calmly. You get it? Yeah. Yeah. I do. So then you can feel like you're in Jurassic Park. Look at his hair. Look at his hair. Like, what in the world is that? White, white thing. <laughs> Jersey's loving it though. She's never seen anything She's like shocked. that. She's shocked. She's. <laughs> Where like, are he, we? Is that like a big dog? Where I don't think I've we? ever seen him so big. <laughs> is that the myth of the Great Dane? Now what's the llama's name? Lorenzo. Lorenzo. <laughs> That's such a perfect name. It's okay, baby. That's Junior. Junior is our 13-year-old. He's pure wisdom. He was raised by daddy. And we rescued him in South Central when he was two months old. Wow. And he likes to carry this guy on what his head. What happened to him? He had surgery? Yeah. He, he likes to what? Carry this guy on his head. What the hell? The Did tail. you see her reaction? She was like, oh, hell <laughs> They're no. They're so dramatic with this whole thing, you know. If the llama comes Because back. the whole feather thing on top of it, we're not used to your feathers. You're a good bird. <laughs> She's like, what did you bring me to see today? Yeah. difficult with birds because I just don't think there's enough people in the world that know how to behave with them. Well, and the dog people is the most common one yeah. and they still don't understand. So if the dog people don't get it, horse people are a lot better because they put more more um, emphasis on like making sure that horse gets exercise, making sure that they gain the leadership because they're about to ride them. Yeah. You see what I mean? And, and so and it's a thousand pounds. So, so that puts a lot of um, responsibility on those people so the horse people uh, definitely teach kids to be calm in front of horses dog people teach yeah. yeah like don't run to the horse be respectful I invite the horse so he doesn't invade so it teaches kids horse people teach kids actually good good manners dog people teach the opposite of the horse people but it's not a lot of horse people you know what I mean it's yeah. not it's not the most common species in the world is dog yeah, you don't see a lot of uh, people walking in their horses. And, and cat people, you know, <laughs> now the cat people are entering into like, okay, I want to bring the cat different places. Before, uh, the cat people said, well, it's a cat. He does whatever he wants. You know, but now the cat people want to bring a cat. Well, it's going to take time for the cat to be on, to be, to be at least, a, to, for you to see a hundred cats walking on a leash. <coughs> what, what happened? There's a hawk. You know, if actually, she does that, I know that there's a hawk. We had um, we, we had her <laughs> super loud. <laughs> we had her in a in our um, backyard one time, and we had like a barbecue area, and and she had this thing on the tree, and that 
it was like you know it was hanging under the tree and she would hang there and hang out and relax and it was like her place to be you know and then um there was a hawk that was in the air and he she yelled and screamed and she let us know but like the hawk was literally like so close he got to a point where he actually flew down and landed on the barbecue area to get to her but because she was yelling and screaming we knew to come and grab her, but he did this in front of us. He like literally came down and there. It's like a swing like that that you have for your bird right there. Yeah, yeah. It's like that. She's on something like that. So she will let you know always and without fail. It's it's a mm -hmm. it's a bird this of guy, prey. This guy make a Aww. Real quick. Are you letting everybody know. It's good that you let everyone know. Mm -hmm. Are you like the most handsome? That's a handsome lion, huh? That's, That's Lorenzo. Lorenzo. There you go. How old was she when you got her? This guy? Oh, Lorenzo, sorry, it's a guy. Um, I think it was like two or three. Yeah. Lorenzo seems very polite. Yeah, he's, he's really cool. Do they actually spit? Do, do llamas <laughs> spit? Yeah. I mean, he's never spit us, but that's his defense. And his, his charm is his teeth. That's the one and only, Lorenzo. Okay. Handsome. Lorenzo, he's super handsome. He does have nice teeth. Yeah, he does. That's his charm. <laughs> you don't have to come and file them. Do they? Yeah. He looks like he needs to have a sweater, like, you know, like he has like glasses and He just looks posh. And... Very posh. <laughs> like if he had a cartoon, he'd be like a yeah. posh Lorenzo. Yeah. Yeah. Like King, King from a Yeah, look at the way his mannerisms yeah. are just so proper. Like when he walked in, he, he kind of like looked and introduced himself yeah. to everyone, like gently. Address yourself to me. Yeah. As Mr. Lorenzo. <laughs> Hi, Lorenzo. Do you mind? I just want to let you know I'm open for kisses. If you feel like kissing me, I'm totally open. Oh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah, you can touch. Yeah. Hi. You are just stunning. Better than a bird, nothing. Mm -hmm.